welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a delicious batch of Parcherberry Pickles. And today's recipe is a viewer's request. Thank you for sending that to us. And as well, we are in Parcherberry season. And today, this recipe is made up of par fresh, fresh or frozen Parcherberries, onions, some spices, sugar, vinegar. So what we're going to do is get started. I'll tell you all the, the amounts and the more ingredients as we go. Okay, so what we're going to be using for these delicious parcherberry pickles is four cups of fresh or frozen parcherberries. For those of you who have never picked parcherberries before, they're little small berries like this, and they're bright red. They're much like cranberries, only they're smaller and they're juicier. Four cups of chopped white onion. Pop that on into your boiler. We're going to be using a half a cup of clear vinegar, one and a half cups of white sugar, and now comes the best part, our, our spices. We're going to be using a half a teaspoonful to a teaspoonful of sea salt, about a quarter of a teaspoonful of pepper, and then we're going to be using quarter of a teaspoonful of cloves, a half a teaspoonful of allspice, shaking it because it's a little bit moisture, and then a half a teaspoonful of cinnamon. Pour it on in. Then we're going to stir all of these ingredients in together and we're going to put this on a medium heat, cover it and keep checking it, stirring it in between for 45 minutes to one hour, depending on your how, how you would like it. And what I mean by checking it, um, all of this is gonna, like the onions and your, your parcherberries is gonna give off some liquid. I want you to keep stirring it, and then if you, uh, if you think that it's getting too dry, which it shouldn't be, add just a little tiny bit of water maybe a quarter of a cup but let it go like this first and what I'm going to do is um, put the lid on and then I'm going to put on my heat for a medium heat and then um, while we're waiting put your mason jars on to be sterilized and then when it starts to bubble air now I'll show you what that looks like Okay, so I'm going to show you now, it's starting to boil, so what you're going to do now is cl clock in, you know, once you put it in, uh, everything into the boiler and it starts to boil, that's when you want to clock in your minutes for making this parcherberry pickles. So just stir it around occasionally, put the lid back on, if you want the onions to be um, visible and a little bit of a texture you can boil it less if you want the onions to be um, I guess invisible and the berries more condensed you can do that as well but I'll show you what mine will be like when it's uh, when it's done it smells amazing in here and uh, I can just hear my pot boiling which we love that but uh, to touch base a little bit about the cooking time and what I meant by uh, if you want to see the onions it means um, you know full form and a little crispy you can cook it less if you want for the onions to be invisible just you know mixed in with all of those ingredients you could cook it the duration so it's anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and then when mine is done because this is pretty much on the halfway mark now when mine is done I'll show you what it looks like. Welcome back to Vanity's Kitchen. Our parcherberry pickles are, are cooked, I should say. And now what I'm gonna do is show you what it looks like at that stage. We're gonna put it into our piping hot mason jars, get them sealed, and then I'll show you one that we previously made to show you what it looks like when it's all set. Okay, so let's remove our lid without too much over my camera. And then this is the texture we're looking for. 
What we're gonna do now is scoop it into our mason jars and then we'll get going on that. Now this is a delicious uh, batch of pickles. Now I'm not saying mine in ge general, but bottling these and having these with whatever you want in shapes of a meal. You could put it on a burger, you could put it with, have with your potatoes. Um, it doesn't matter, but it's whatever you would like to put it on. And uh, I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna pour it on into these bottles. So all you got to do is just pour it on in, leaving about a half inch from the top. And uh, remember that your bottles has gotta be sterilized first and you could use um, new caps or caps that you reused but not damaged. So I'm going to continue this one more and then I'm going to put my stoppers on. I'm just going to continue finish filling this one. So you can see what it looks like in the jars and I got mine where there's still a little bit of the texture of the onions there. Um, because I do like that uh, taste, but it doesn't matter because when this sets, it's all going to be equally delicious. And you clean the rims of your bottles, put the caps and the lids on, put it on there tight, this is really hot, and get it ready to put in your, your baller to be sealed. Okay, so this is my last jar. So these are one cup mason jars and we this batch was for four cups of berries four cups of onions which made four cups um, of your partridge berry pickles so I'm gonna put these over now my stove top to get ready to seal I'm gonna show you one that we got done previously just to let you know what it looks like I think I'll pour up a little cup of tea while I'm explaining this to you and showing you the, the little demonstration of our already bottled um, a parchaberry pickles. There's almost a play on words there. So I'm going to open it up, show you what it looks like, put it onto a cracker and some into the bowl. Now, I'm going to demonstrate it on a cracker, but like you said, this is not a jam, it's a, it's a pickle, but I just want so that I can have a taste and I can show you what the texture is, and I'm going to put a little tiny bit into my jar here to see, to see it, but that's just what it is, it's a, it's a parchaberry pickle, and it's made up of the onions and parchaberries, spices and some sugar, so let's have a little taste now, and I'll wash it down with some of my tea. Okay, so now I'm going to have a little taste. Mmm. So delicious. You can taste the onion, the vinegar. I can see this on so many different dishes and even a cracker. I'm all about the salt and the sweet take some of the berries off my mouth. Like I was saying, I'm all about the salt and sweet and a little bit of tart. Tart meaning the vinegar. So good. Now on a cracker, like I said, it's not a jam or a jelly. And you can have this on the side of any meal that you enjoy having a little pickle with. So if you got access to parch berries this season, or if you got frozen parch berries in your deep freeze, uh, it doesn't matter. You can make this delicious parch berry pickles. And if you found this episode helpful to you and you're excited to make it and you'd like to see more delicious traditional Newfoundland recipes and viewers' requests, please visit www.bonitaskitchen.com. You can visit me on my Facebook page or also here on YouTube. I'm going to provide a recipe at the bottom of this video and as well is a subscribe button. I'd love for you to subscribe. Don't forget to like and share any of our videos. I'm going to th thank the viewer as well today for requesting this uh, recipe for parchaberry pickles and thank you all for taking the time today to view this video. 
So from our kitchen to yours, thank you for joining us today and you have a wonderful day. Today's recipe is a viewer's request, so thank you for sending that to us. And as well, this is blueberry, uh, not blueberries, 